This audio production was made in collaboration with Audible Anarchist. Out of the Ruins We have no fear. On September 18th, 1985, as Mexico City's 18 million inhabitants began another day, a massive earthquake struck. When the ground stopped shaking and the dust cleared away, a scene of complete destruction was revealed. The densely populated downtown district, about 10% of the city, lay in ruins. The crowded Tepito neighborhood at the center of the earthquake zone was devastated. The high-rise tower blocks that ringed Tepito had been toppled, hurling thousands of tons of concrete and steel onto the houses below. Beneath the chaos of girders and rubble, many people lay helplessly trapped. Rescue came quickly. As the tremors died down and the ground became still, the survivors began the job of rescue. They were soon joined by people from the relatively unharmed districts close by. With nothing but shovels and bare hands, they struggled to free their neighbours from the ruins. They worked non-stop, digging into the wreckage, shifting aside great weights of rubble to reach the survivors. Many rescuers took great risks to pull people to safety. As the work went on, more and more people arrived to help. Around the centre of devastation, a network of aid and assistance sprang up. The homeless survivors were taken in to be sheltered by relatives, neighbours and strangers. Food and clothing were freely shared out among the victims in a completely spontaneous and self-organised movement of mutual aid and cooperation. One example among many shows the level of human solidarity that the ordinary people of Mexico City were expressing. A woman, overjoyed at finding her husband alive, gave all the money she possessed to bribe a policeman who was refusing to allow a mother to bury her dead child. Where in all this was the government? By the time the official rescue squads had arrived, the majority of victims had been saved by the efforts of the people. Only those who could only be reached with heavy lifting equipment, which the people lacked, remained trapped. In the days that followed, government attempts to deal with the crisis continued to be pitifully inadequate, and the people saw clearly that had things been left to the government, the suffering would have been even greater. In the face of the inefficiency of fire and emergency crews and the incapacity of officials and police, only the spontaneous efforts of ordinary people resulted in help and support for the survivors of the disaster. But the world's media told a different story. Television and newspapers depicted a hopelessly crippled city peopled only with passive, stunned, suffering victims. The government told journalists that they, quote, were completely in control, end quote. Both government and media were deliberately blind to the reality on the ruined streets. The popular movement of mutual aid and solidarity that followed the earthquake did not appear from nowhere, for the ordinary people in the overcrowded tenements, slums and shanty towns of Mexico City, life is in many ways one long series of disasters and suffering of poverty, hardship and chaos. Without a strong and continually inventive network of support, it would never rise even to the level of mere survival. The government, which is concerned only with maintaining an illusion of order, does little to help. If anything, it is responsible for increasing the misery. Shortly before his death in 1936 on the Aragon front, the Spanish anarchist Buenaventura de Ruti had this to say on the subject of destruction. Quote, we are not in the least afraid of ruins. We are going to inherit the earth. There is not the slightest doubt about that. The bourgeoisie might blast and ruin its own world before it leaves the state of history. We carry a new world here in our hearts. That world is growing this minute. End quote. This has been a production of Audible Anarchist. You can find more Audible Anarchist on YouTube.